Hi, it's Anthony from CarPlayLife.com and today it's an exciting day because we're checking out iOS 14. So the public beta is still yet to come out but developers who have access to iOS 14 can now download it and um, luckily I'm one of those and um, I thought I'd give you a quick look at my actual first impressions of iOS 14. I've yet to check it out, we'll be doing this together. Um, we'll be exploring what is new. So for CarPlay specifically, um, they have announced uh, three new app categories. Uh, you have parking, you have food ordering, which I think is a little bit strange. And uh, the other one is EV sort of locations, EV apps for electric vehicles. So. Um, um, I've written about those on the site. You can go and read those um, on the carplaylife.com. And um, but for today, I just thought we'll just go through a few of the other more visible features in iOS 14 for Apple CarPlay. So the other kind of option that they're re they're releasing um, for iOS 14 for CarPlay is um, wallpapers, and that's the first thing I wanted to, to really check out. Um, there's a new horizontal status bar for vertical um, CarPlay uh, systems. Um, some systems like the Volvos have got like vertical uh, displays. So um, the dock will now go from the side to the bottom to allow you to have maybe potentially more icons on the display uh, for those screens. Uh, Chinese and Japanese keyboards, that's um, a new thing for CarPlay in iOS 14. You'll be able to share ETA with Siri um, just by um, telling it to, um, asking Siri to share your ETA. Um, you'll also be able to send audio messages, not just text messages uh, via Siri. And um, there's a couple of enhancements for audio messaging and VoIP apps as well. Um, so we might see some improvements there, either visually, like on the display or um, behind the scenes in those specific apps. So that's all exciting. Um, but today we're gonna look at the um, wallpapers and what we can actually see on this current first release of iOS 14. And if there's any major um, releasing in uh, future updates of um, the beta, um, I'll hopefully try and bring that to you as well on the channel. So let's dive in and see what is new. Right, so we're here in my Golf um, Mark 7 with an Alpine X902D G7 display unit. And um, we will be checking out iOS 14. So, got iOS 14 running on my iPhone 7 here. Uh, I think the lowest it can be installed on is um, a 6S. Uh, so we're very lucky here. Maybe next generation we might not be so lucky. Uh, you can see I'm starting to use the tiles that you might have read about, um, the widgets, sorry, and um, uh, here's all the widgets uh, here that you can actually drag across uh, into the other screens and you can do things like that and it all animates all lovely. Um, and you also got the app library here, which is um, quite cool. You can remove apps because basically when you add the weather one I found, the weather app is still there even though you can tap that and get the weather, um, uh, you would have to hide it. You can't remove it because it will actually remove the app. So you can, there's a new option now to add to library. So it adds the, uh, the weather app to your library and takes it away from the home screen, which I think is quite cool. So today we're gonna fire this up on um, CarPlay. I'll be using wireless CarPlay using the CarLinkit uh, 2.0 dongle. So we'll see how that performs too and we'll check out the new wallpapers. So let's dive in. Right, and we're into iOS 14 already. So as you can see, um, the new backgrounds are in immediately. Um, they've added these label overlays backgrounds so it doesn't clash uh, with um, the background that might be put in the background so that's good to see which means that custom backgrounds shouldn't really be a problem really for Apple when they eventually add it but sadly there's no custom backgrounds um, I think this is the first time I've checked out iOS 14 on CarPlay so 
there really isn't much visibly different other than the background that I can see. Uh, adding, changing your wallpaper is done through actual car settings. And as you can see, there is only three, four, five, six, seven colors options to choose from. So let's just go through them, shall we? So it's not very clear which one is actually selectable, but I think these icons show you that these are all um, light and dark modes. Um, currently I have it set to automatic, uh, but we'll switch to those in a minute. So I'm assuming black is black regardless um, of, of what you see. Uh, so that's, that's that one. Um, black and white is going to be related, I'm sure, between quite hard to tell has that actually been applied so if I go to um, settings and do automatic so we're gonna, go, we're gonna switch between white and black basically between light and dark mode um, and then let's try out some of the colors so we've already seen this one so we'll set that so that's the light version and then we we'll go to um, dark mode and check out that's dark mode, which looks a bit odd with the, the blue and the red, if I'm honest. Um, and then let's go to this one. So you've got blue green effect. We'll be seeing it in dark mode first. So that's that. And uh, let's switch to light mode and see how that looks. Just a little bit darker, oddly. Um, so that's that one. This is like a silver kind of sheen effect, which is quite light. And then Let's check the dark mode of this, which just makes it a bit more, it's quite nice, quite neutral. If you've got a neutral color scheme in your car interior, let's go back to light again and choose this one. So this on screenshots looks more gold, but it doesn't look that gold. It's more chrome. And um, let's just switch this to dark mode again. So it's a little bit more subdued than the, the, the silver version. Um, and finally, this red one, a lot of interiors are red. So I can imagine this, is, this might be a quite a, a common choice for people here. Um, let's just check the uh, light version a little bit more pinky so yeah I think I don't know what my favorite is um, I quite like this chrome I think the blue red if it was just red or blue I think that would be a nicer uh, color scheme but um, that's that and you can see which is selected by it going black um, that's probably not a good uh, one to show but originally you did see earlier that um, you could uh, see which one was selected. So if you've got like a dial in the car that you would turn the dial, um, you'll be seeing the, the labels turn dark um, when you highlight them. Um, and that is pretty much it for iOS uh, 14. Uh, let me just recap on what's, what's new. So we can't show the horizontal bar, we can't show the Chinese Japanese keyboard. Um, let's try sharing ETA. Um, we probably need to go into maps and go somewhere. Go to a petrol station. So this is all a little bit cleaner. These icons are not round anymore, I notice. These are a square. They might just invoke that they're a bit more easier to tap um, let's just zoom right out here um, this hasn't changed you can share it manually but let's try hey Siri 
What's the weather like? What's the weather like? It's currently clear and 26 degrees. Today's high will be 27 degrees and the low will be 21. So you can see Siri, new Siri there, like a less intrusive um, way of um, showing Siri on CarPlay and across um, all the um, the iPhone and iPad as well. They've, they've gone a much more discreet route. So um, uh, that's nice. Um, hey Siri. Share my ETA. Who would you like to share it with? Or she. Sharing your dollar sign, TTS print and say, ETA, ETA, using maps will also share the name and email address for your Apple ID. Is that okay? No. Okay. I won't be able to share your dollar sign, TTS print and say, ETA, ETA. All right, so uh, that's not right. Um, that's probably a work in progress. Um, let's try sending an audio message uh, via Siri then. So, hey Siri. Send an audio message. Who do you want to send it to? Or she. Okay. Recording. Hi, Oshi. I am in the car right now. I am testing out the new iOS 1.4. Great. Send it to Oshi. Review. Hi, Oshi. I am in the car right now. I am testing out the new iOS 1.4. Great. Send it to Oshi. Cancel. Okay, let me know if there's anything else you need. So that's not too bad. A uh, nice little uh, audio version rather than having to text everything out and risk uh, Siri getting everything wrong. So that's quite a nice test. Um, and that's pretty much it for iOS 14 for now on uh, iOS beta. Um, uh, everything is as it was before, I think. Um, um, maps that we've just been in. That looks pretty much the same. Spotify obviously hasn't changed um, because they're not actually doing anything different. Uh, and then I don't really have many other apps on this phone. But the dashboard hasn't really changed. You've got ETA there still. Um, so let's cancel that, see what shows up on the dash when you don't have navigation. So you've got your Siri suggestions there still. And um, uh, album art options um, let's put them on as well see what happens pretty much the same so um, let's try yeah so that's pretty cool so that's a brief look at iOS 14 I hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe, uh, look out for other iOS 14 coverage and also our review on the car link kit 2.0 and um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.